Stevens joining us now to start off our series on love and we've been conversing about how to um, really go about this and mm -hmm. you brought up a great metaphor saying that um, love is is like a fire that sometimes mm -hmm. it just needs a little rekindling to get it back roaring in flames. Mm -hmm. Yeah and so if you've ever had a, a campfire or a bonfire um, not because I'm good at these things, but <laughs> you know, it takes constant attention yeah. and work uh -huh. and the work is not always the same work. It kind of ebbs and it flows. And I think a marriage is, is very much like that metaphor. Some periods are stronger. Some periods need more attention. Sometimes that flame dwindles down and you're not sure if it's even there. But I think the um, bright side of this is you can always restart that fire. Even mm. when the fire dies, it's more work. It's mm -hmm. a lot harder at times and there's still that opportunity for that flame to rise up again and even maybe even bigger than before so yes. I think that's it's uh, uh, one of the things that you would mention is you know communication is mm -hmm. really like how do you like commute like what if somebody's seeing you know the fire as big and beautiful but then the other person is seeing the fire as just as minuscule like yeah. how do you how do you um, talk about that? You first got to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. It's very common in marriages to neglect these hard conversations. We get into our routines, we get into our ruts sometimes, and we also just avoid difficult mm -hmm. things. It's very human nature to mm -hmm. avoid these hard conversations. So the first step is addressing. I'm not feeling, you know, kind of taking accountability, but also advocacy. I'm mm -hmm. not feeling the strength of that flame anymore. I'm not feeling the warmth that we used to. What are you feeling? Sometimes mm -hmm. there is a mismatch in feelings. Sometimes there is a mismatch in our communication styles for how we talk about what we're going through. But the first step is still really like, you just got to address it. You got to mm -hmm. put it out on the table and then see what you're working with after that. Sometimes our partners are receptive. Other times they're not. So I, I do recommend recommend couples counseling at that stage to just have an outside perspective to see our blind spots yeah. to address that kind of mismatched style mm. and hopefully bring um, a better awareness on both sides as to what is causing that flame to dwindle down. Yeah. You were talking about um, kind of like the stages of, of the years of marriage. Mm -hmm. So kind of go into that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so if you've been married, you know that first year is super hard. Mm -hmm. You're figuring out so many different things. And um, you start to experience the good and the bad and the ugly and all of it. And then between years three and five, you've experienced much more of it. If you haven't addressed any of it or if the communication is maybe lacking, then it's where we start to kind of see that flame going down just a little bit by little bit. Then you get to, if you get to year seven, between year seven and 10, if you're still not addressing, uh, think about how much more is building mm -hmm. with the, the good, the bad, the ugly, and that, that bad, that ugly, sometimes uh, think of that as water on the flame. Mm -hmm. And it just, it, it quelches and it quelches and it quelches. And then you get to year 10, and if you haven't addressed these things, it's where we see a lot of um, conversations about divorce, kind of yeah. uprising, because um, you're not feeling the love anymore. Yeah. You're... Um, hurt and your pain and your anger and your resentment is my, that's that water it's mm -hmm. pooling up mm -hmm. inside of your uh, fire pit so to speak yes. and it's just kind of overtaking so is there like ju uh, just a, just a final final question here mm -hmm. um, can there be too much communication like is there like a yes. point where it's like <laughs> Okay, you're sharing a little bit too much, and how do you how do you reel that in? You know, how do you tell somebody like, hey, like you, you, I, like your private thoughts can stay private. And like, I love you, but I need some space. That's such a, that's a great question. I'll try to answer it in the, the time that I have. <laughs> I think some of it is, is your own self-awareness. If you're feeling overwhelmed, saying, I'm overwhelmed by how much is being shared um, and knowing what you need. Do you need it? Some of us need a break before we can process. Mm. Some of us are ready to go right into it. So it's really, a, it's a starting with a you thing. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? How does this make you feel? And going back to those kind of courageous conversations and communication and advocating for what you need. Hopefully your partner is willing to hear that and um, respect that and again uh, if not that's where a couples counselor can be super effective yeah. with just addressing those, yeah. those complicated yeah. layers but yeah, well, too much can be too much yes. <laughs> too much can be too much <laughs> well thank you uh thank you so much helena for joining You're us welcome. and super excited on the series mm -hmm. um we'll be right back after the break stay with us